In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, count a, a how many of something you have in Excel, so how many data points you have in Excel for a, you know a certain column, row, whatever it needs to be. Um, and I'm going to be showing you this specifically so I can um, show you how to build statistics into your spreadsheet. Um, and the count or the sample size um, count is the easiest one, and also uh, an important one that you really should have. Um, so let's get to the beginning of our spreadsheet sheet here and what I like to do so before we actually put any of the, the um, uh, any of the uh, statistics in I like to give myself lots of markers just like I have these vertical markers showing me these different um, forms or different uh, data sets within the major data sets or the master data set um, I like to give myself some other markers to show when I'm not in the data so I like to put a black bar across so I know that I'm out of the data and I'm now into the statistics. So if I'm scrolling and I don't get confused with what numbers real data versus what numbers averages and you know sample size and things like that. Um, so this will be um, sort of the start of the statistics. I'll put a bunch of these here right now because so I'm just going to kind of build my um, my data set for what I know I'm going to do. So um, let's do let's do four of these. All right, so the first one, let's give some labels here. Um, I'm just going to make it red so it stands out on that um, black background there. So this will be sort of um, full data set um, statistics. I also want to have data specifically looking at my different groups. So if within the spreadsheet, I have people with a family history of hypertension, so that's having one or two parents that have high blood pressure, and people without a family history of hypertension, so that means neither of their parents have high blood pressure. So let's um, make this the positive, oh, let me turn it red so you can see it, the positive family history of hypertension. Right, so let's make this the negative family history of hypertension. So make that red again. Negative family history of hypertension. And then also let's uh, have a, a, some more data eventually here. We'll create some more um, calculations for um, looking across variables. So between, oh, let's turn that red first. Between variable Stats. So we'll show some correlations eventually within this playlist so you can shoot, uh, see how to do some of that kind of stuff. All right, so again, we're going to calculate the sample size of the collected data. So how many subjects data we have. Um, and let's go out to right here. We'll go to row M and O as our examples because we have a missing data point um, in all these columns M and prior because we missed the FMD data for that person and um, afterwards we have that data so there should be one fewer um, counted uh, data points here compared to past this point. So I'm going to go ahead and click on um, that cell there where I want my sample size to be. I'm going to click you know, type equals and start counting or start typing counts. All right, so counts, and I'm gonna go with this first one. Count the number of cells in the range that contain numbers. If you are not trying to count numbers, um, you might instead want count A. Count A is gonna count the number of cells that are not empty. And actually, let's go ahead and do that one. I think it makes a little more sense for what we're doing. So we're gonna do count A, and I'm gonna go ahead and double click it. You could have also just put an open parenthesis since we typed the whole thing. And I'm going to highlight all of the data. So just the data, not the header, because it, with the way we did it with that count A, it would have counted the header as well as a data point, and we don't want that. Um, and so I'm going to hit enter, and we have 21 um, data points. And so I'm going to click there, and I'm going to go to this little box here, and I'm going to scroll to well, drag it across. And what you should see is all of these are 21 because we have a missing data point for all of them, right? So in the subject 19 missed all of those. If I scroll in the other direction, it should say 22. Um, I'm gonna scroll it across, well, I'm gonna drag it across this green column. I don't really care if there's some gibberish numbers in some of the columns I'm not looking at. 
So there's a zero there, but it doesn't mean anything. But you can see over here where we're not missing a data point, it's 22. So there's not, we're not missing anything on subject 19 there, so it's 22. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this across all of my data within the spreadsheets. And um, we can see what we were missing a data point here. It's the same one, so it's the FMD data from that same subject. And so this really should be red. So let's go ahead and color that red because I like I like to show myself that there's missing data by making it red. Um, so you can see already the utility. One of the utilities of having a count of your data is it tells you when something's missing that shouldn't be missing. Um, and so let's do that quickly for the other one. So that was just a count of the total data set. Let's um, count just the individual groups. So I'll do the same thing. Um, so right now I'm just scrolled all the way to the, um, to the left. Click, do count. And uh, again, I'm gonna do count A. And for the positive family history, so I, I had already colored these um, subject IDs red for those who have a positive family history. So that is this cell through this cell. So all those are the positive family history of hypertension. So we have nine data points there. When we do the same thing again, equals count, count A. And let's highlight everything where the 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 ID numbers are black. Um, again, that would be the people with the negative family history. We had 12 data points there, but remember we were missing a data point. So let's go ahead and highlight these and drag it across all of our data to the end, which is what you're going to need to do with every time you do statistics. And you'll see that. for the ones where subject 19 was not missing a data point. There's 13 uh, negative family history of hypertension individuals, and there's nine across the board for the positive family history of hypertension. Um, again, simple show of how to use the count function and how to sort of build it into the spreadsheet so that it goes across all of your data points um, in a very useful way in case you need to see how many data points you have in different variables. So before we're done here, we wanna make sure that we add uh, a label for what this statistic is. So this is simply a count function or um, what I typically label it as is the, the N size. So the N size is sort of the um, standard. So N is the standard abbreviation for the, your sample size of collected data in, in science. So I'm gonna copy that and put it in each of these where we have, again, the, the N size, the sample size of collected data um, in this spreadsheet. So if you come back, I'll show you how to do a bunch of other um, simple statistics uh, in this playlist. So if you're not in the playlist, please go into the playlist. You can get it through a link in the description below. Um, and it'll go through a bunch more of the common statistics I like to build into my spreadsheets.